In the cutthroat world of retail store chains, the Wall Street Journal calls this business one of the most profitable retailers in the United States. It got started in the Great Depression as a family business, and it's never lost sight of its small town values. Please welcome the former CEO of Dollar General, Cal Turner Jr. Cal, I'm so happy to have you here. I Thank you. I am honored and delighted, Mike. What is the philosophy of Dollar General that's different than other retailers? Let's be true to who we are and figure out what we can do to give our customers a better life mm. in our store. Our customers are struggling, salt of the earth people. Mm. And our purpose as a company is to be of help to them every day because life is a struggle for them. You, your book is called My Father's Business. I have a feeling there's a little uh, double entendre in the title. That business is about my calling in life. Hmm. It is, it was the pursuit of my earthly father's business and above all else, the pursuit of my heavenly father's business. Cal, you talk in the book of the difference between leaders and bosses. Yes, sir. What do you mean by that? A boss can get results in the short term. A leader can help a person to ask a better question. Hmm. A leader can often be a purveyor of the question. So what, what could you do? What could you do in your life? What could you do in your role in this company? And how could we help you to do that? Retailers are struggling across the world. You guys are growing like crazy. Help me to understand what's wrong with retail that Dollar General has gotten right. We observed that retailers often copy the competition. And we tried in that business to serve the customer. Hmm. What can we uniquely do that meets a customer's need? And when, when I said to the, my management style was to say, look, we all know how I got my job. I'm the boss's son. <laughs> I've, I've, I've done almost every job in this company and I'm not good at any of them. <laughs> but I respect you. I respect the work you do and I need you. And if you will help me figure out how we can with this business meet the needs of struggling people in these small towns all over everywhere, mm -hmm. then we'll share the success. Cal, before I let you go, I have to ask about what you call the secret cows, or the sacred cows, not yeah. the secret, but the sacred cows. We think of sacred cows, but the sacred cows. The hiring philosophy of the sacred cows, what do you mean by that? Well, <clears throat> I wanted to convince everyone who was in management in the company that I respected and needed them. Hmm. My name was Cal, my father's name Cal. In fact, he's the real Cal Turner. <laughs> I'm junior. And so I chose to use the term sacred Cal. You have my commitment as CEO of this company that we will slaughter any sacred Cal after we have inspected how it became sacred and whether we believe it's relevant in the future. Hmm. And if if we decide as a management team that this sacred cow should no longer be sacred, we'll slaughter it together. Hmm. That was my way of trying to help them to understand that I'm excited about change. Really, my own personal mission, Mike, is God honoring change. Hmm. That's what I took into leadership. And I wanted the change that they had the genius of knowing our company should pursue. So when, a, when any company pursues its uniqueness and figures out how that can be leveraged for the good of the customer, 
that company's going to succeed. Well, yours certainly has had a great success record, and uh, I commend you, your father, for his original vision, and I'm glad you're serving not only your earthly father's vision, but your heavenly father's vision as well for your life. I believe you do that too, Mike. I appreciate that. I believe you do, even if you are a baby. <laughs> even if. <laughs> well, my thanks to Cal Turner Jr. for being here and writing this must-read book, My Father's Business, The Small Town Values That Built Dollar General Into a Billion Dollar Company. Okay, well, it costs more than a dollar, but you can get the first chapter for free at myfathersbusinessbook.com.